Peru project number one, English. In the rain-soaked cloud forests of northern Peru, where the jungle reaches far up into the eastern foothills of the Andes, lives one of the rarest and least known monkeys in the New World. Until its dramatic rediscovery in these mountains in 1974, many had believed the Peruvian yellow-tailed woolly monkey to be extinct. This monkey was first brought to the attention of the Western world in 1802 by the great German explorer and naturalist Alexander von Humboldt. Humboldt never actually saw a living yellowtail monkey, but he found their skins being used as saddle claws on the backs of mules. Recognizing that this was the skin of a yet undiscovered monkey, Humboldt described the animal as Simia flavicoda, the yellow-tailed monkey. Except for a few specimens obtained in the 1920s by two museum collectors, the yellow-tailed woolly monkey remained virtually unknown for over 160 years, obscured by the clouds of its Andean forest habitat. Then, in 1974, a team of Peruvian and American scientists set out for northern Peru to determine whether Humboldt's yellow-tailed monkey still existed. The expedition, made up of Russ Mittermeier, Hernando de Macedo Ruiz, and Anthony Luscom, surveyed miles of virgin cloud forest. They found nothing. However, as they returned through the town of Pedro Ruiz, they encountered a family with an unusual pet. It was a yellow-tailed woolly monkey, the first live individual ever seen by members of the scientific community. This rediscovery attracted considerable attention, both within Peru and internationally. Dr. Macedo, director of Lima's Museum of Natural History, is now the proud parent and caretaker of Chimpa, the world's only captive yellow-tailed woolly monkey. Chimpa, toma. 
something. In November of 1983, nearly 10 years after the Yellowtail's rediscovery, World Wildlife Fund U.S. launched another expedition to the cloud forest, this time with the hope of finding and photographing the monkey in its natural habitat. The yellow-tailed woolly monkey lives at higher altitudes than most other primates. To begin their search, the group had to climb to an elevation of 2,000 meters. They proceeded slowly over rough terrain that had kept out all but a few scientists since Humboldt's time. was led by Peruvian biologist Mariela Leo Luna and the American primatologist Russ Mittermeier, leader of the 1974 expedition. The search team continued for several weeks, camping in caves at night and each day winding across the steep slopes. They found no sign of the monkeys. It seemed that once again, the whereabouts of the yellow tail would remain a mystery. But finally, with only a few days left, their efforts were rewarded. At last, this animal, until recently thought to be extinct, was captured on movie film for the first time. Several features distinguish the yellow tail from its lowland cousin, the common woolly monkey. Ironically, the small yellow patch at the end of its tail is the most difficult feature to see. Much more visible are the white muzzle, the striking mahogany coat, and the yellow scrotal tuft. Primates are usually conspicuous animals in the wild. How did the yellowtail elude scientists for so many years? The answer lies in the monkey's remote mountain habitat. It is entirely restricted to the cloud forests of northern Peru, an area that until recently was very inaccessible. This cloud forest is also home for a wide assortment of plants and animals, many of which are unique to this unusual habitat. A male cock of the rock shows off his dazzling plumage, an attempt to win over a drab-colored female. 
Pacarana is the second largest rodent in South America. This one is searching for edible plants along a cloud forest river. There are several other primates in this forest besides the yellowtail, including the white-fronted capuchin and the white-bellied spider monkey. Because it is the most endangered Peruvian primate and also the largest mammal entirely restricted to Peru, the yellowtail woolly monkey stands out as the single best symbol for this vanishing habitat. Although few outsiders have ever seen this monkey, Leo's persistence and dedication have been rewarded with several encounters. But most of her observations have been brief, and we still know very little about the animal's ecology and social behavior, or even how large an area a yellow-tailed group needs to live undisturbed. However, one thing is certain. The clouds over this forest are rapidly changing. The past decade has brought a surge of colonization to this once remote area, but life in these mountains is difficult. When farmers cut down and burn the trees to create arable land, the exposed surface quickly erodes. After a few years, the soil is very poor for agriculture, and each family must carve out larger and larger plots just to get by. Man's presence here has had other effects as well. The yellow-tailed woolly monkey is hunted for food and for its attractive pelt. The cock of the rock's bright plumage now attracts not only mates, but trophy hunters. Monkeys also make popular pets. They are obtained by killing the mother and then removing the clinging infant. Taken in this manner, they are difficult to keep alive. Too young to be away from its mother, this white-bellied spider monkey will soon die. Some, like this capuchin, make it all the way to Lima, where they are used by street vendors to attract attention. This baby yellow-tailed woolly monkey lived only three weeks in captivity. These practices extract a terrible toll from the forest but destruction of the yellowtail's habitat is the greatest threat of all. Together, the clouds and the forest are part of an important water-producing cycle that brings life to this region. The water flowing down the mountains also nourishes the lowlands beyond. Below this immense forest watershed lies one of the most important agricultural zones in the country. Here, where the water from the mountains collects, agricultural projects feed many more people per acre than the slash and burn plots in the cloud forest. This vital water supply is dependent on the presence of the forest above. Trees that are cut to produce timber and farmland for the increasing population in the cloud forest may destroy this watershed, drying out the land and causing widespread erosion. If the cloud forest is cut, the water cycle will go with it, and the future of the large human population on the plains below will be in jeopardy. Perhaps the needs of man and monkey are not incompatible. Surely, man must use the land, but if he uses it improperly, both man and monkey may perish. Efforts to preserve this cloud forest watershed are now underway in the same mountain village, Pedro Ruiz, where the yellow tail was rediscovered. Hard at work here is a group of dedicated Peruvians concerned with the future needs of both forest and people. 
manera que está acompañado a nosotros. Muy raro. With the help of a campaign launched by World Wildlife Fund U.S. and several Peruvian institutions, the prospects for a series of cloud forest reserves are now improving. In addition, the Peruvian public is learning why it is important to save some of the forest for future generations. The yellow-tailed woolly monkey itself is not the only reason for this campaign. Rather, it is important as a symbol, a symbol of a habitat on which both man and animal depend. Former hunter Daniel Latore speaks about his children and the world he would like them to inherit. He urges the people to use the forest wisely. Together, Latore and Leo have traveled to many towns and villages in northern Peru talking to the local people about land use and hunting. Leo offers stickers of the yellow tail to the town's children and sparks their curiosity about the natural world disappearing around them. Ultimately, it will be they who must act. <laughs> In a world where deforestation too often represents progress, this monkey of the clouds is an important reminder that man and nature cannot survive apart. The enthusiasm of many Peruvians to protect their natural resources brings hope. Yet time is limited, and pressure for the land is great. Certainly, the futures of man and monkey are linked. Both will depend on the rapidly changing clouds. <laughs>